Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. So what is going on, guys? It is your boy Poncho back at it again with another banger of a video. If you guys can see, we got a special guest right here, Jesse Yesersky. So um, introduce yourself, you know what I'm saying? What you do or what you what you've been up to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, what up, guys? Uh, my name is Jesse. So for those of you who know me, um, I mean, you guys know me by the baby daddy, the toxic, the psycho, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck. Uh, but my name is Jesse. I also go by Drade. I am a DJ, house producer. Um, and that's pretty much all I do right now. Um, content creator, I guess. Yeah, okay. Guess so here. my first question here, let me get the notes out right here. Tell us about yourself. What is what is Jesse doing now? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I work on myself 24-7. I just work right now, working on myself. I just moved back to L.A. Okay. Um... That's that's pretty much all I'm doing is just working, making music, making sure that I'm following my dreams, pursuing all that, and uh, just making a name for myself and do everything I wasn't doing before. Okay. Yeah. So what got you into going back to that? What got you into the DJ scene? Uh, I was always into music. My dad always had like a, a grupo. He played quinceañeras, weddings, okay. and all that stuff. He's a drummer. And then I was in a band. Um, I played the trumpet since fifth grade. And then just slowly, like, you know, listening to heavy metal, I had my emo phase. I think we all did. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, from there, just house music got introduced to me. And um, I got introduced to Bad Bunny here and there. And honestly, I hated him when I first listened to him. Really? I just not. Trap wasn't for me. Uh, but slowly, I got into it, whatever. And then I just like to perform. I like okay. to perform. I like people to, I like to share my music with people. And um, so, yeah, when I perform, it's just, it's an adrenaline rush. It's a high that you can't get anywhere else, man. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy that you said that about the the whole DJ scene. Um, I forgot the specific name of it, but for the rave, I forgot like in LA they have a specific name like Wasted. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I used to, I used to go to used to go to some of those. Like I was a part of Wasted. Uh -huh. I was a part of Wasted Presents, and it was it was interesting. It was something else. It's yeah. just it wasn't for me because to be honest, like you know, being transparent, they yeah. they're really about like you you get to open up for big artists, but yeah. you have to sling tickets. Oh, okay. you have to like if you don't get twenty tickets you're not playing you know yeah. you have so you to, have to do... like really sell sell out those tickets yeah so then i'm always on instagram blowing up everybody's dms you know like oh you got tickets what are you doing this week blah blah and i'm yeah. shoving it down people's throat to the point where like eventually i'd play but it wasn't worth it because i wasn't getting paid the exposure wasn't what i was supposed to be getting but i mean the events are cool they're small they're in oc so yeah so, you know but it's cool you know it's something else something different but yeah that's wasted it's a promotion company oh, it okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. so it's like something that you want to like dip your toes in if you're yeah, like a yeah. first time artist yeah yeah if you, if you don't know much about the scene that's that's the way to go that's where to start off and go from there okay. um yeah so look, let me dive right into it let's do this before we start into the toxic stuff how, how is it that you and <laughs> give me give me the sunshine between you and yoati like how is it that you guys met honestly like the lovey-dovey and everything because a lot of people might not know how you guys met so how is it that you guys met we met through instagram before you dm'd her no, this is before DMs. Oh, okay, okay. So, so long story short, I posted a picture on Chris around this time of my house, and then I just like I love my house. She commented and was just like, "Oh, you know," she's like, "We're neighbors." So I was like, "Neighbors?" I was like, "You live on this side or this side of my 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 head neighbors?" It's like yeah. this or that. She's like, "No, no, I live down the street." Okay. And I was like, "Live down the street?" I was like, "What?" And I was just like, "So we're gonna hang out or what?" And then we we hung out. I rode my skateboard down the street. I almost say shit. It was embarrassing. Dang but, it, the skateboard. <laughs> yeah, I rode a skateboard because like halfway down the street just turns into gravel like an yeah. idiot. But I was trying to be cool. Okay. So yeah, so we met and we just hung out outside her house. And then slowly we just progressively would hung out. Like being honest, we hung out. We started as friends with benefits. Like that's how it started. Like okay. we just that was it. And eventually she was just like, oh, we gotta. Like, she would really want me to hang out more. Like, I was like, I don't got time for this shit. Like, yeah, I'm just, yeah. you know, being honest, that's what I did. Um, but, yeah, she would just kind of would force me to, like, all right, let's hang out. Let's, you know, mas, mas. And then slowly I was like, all right, I, I like her. She likes me. And then it just blossomed into a relationship. And, you know. That's... So was it, like, continuously hanging out to where you ended up catching feelings type thing? or She caught feelings first. Okay, so yeah, she caught feelings first? Yeah. Because, because like I said, I wasn't trying to, to have a relationship. I was just having my fun or whatever. And yeah, then slowly, yeah. Um, yeah, she would like be like, oh, let's hang out more in my head. I'm like, well, if we hang out, eventually I'm going to be able to like do stuff or whatever. So 
you know all right but then i caught feelings because now okay. we're stretching out the hanging out part and yeah and yeah. yeah yeah so just developed honestly don't i no i don't remember when we like actually started going out the first time okay yeah yeah, yeah. it was good yeah okay yeah. so <clears throat> once the relationship started i gotta ask this question did you cheat though because a, a lot of the people were saying that that you cheated and this, this is why the relationship ended but what was that all about so again full transparency the the relationship had its ups and downs like every other relationship yeah, yeah. and i don't remember who cheated first okay so, so you're saying that she cheated at some point too yes. okay um i was thinking about this last night i mean everything there's there's two sides to every story yeah, but yeah. it's 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 that's exactly why I want to interview you because they hear Yoazi's side, but they never got to hear your side. You know what I'm so saying? So like, it, exactly. So I mean, I'm not here to obviously bash, bash her. and or no, because it's it's not who I am. Um, but like, just full transparency, you gotta you gotta really look at both sides of the story. Like, yeah. you guys are only hearing one side and shoving it down your guys' throat. Like, yeah, 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 this is what happened. But what about me? You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, there was cheating involved in both ends. I honestly never physically cheated like the full like beginning of the relationship just because I never had it in me. Okay. After a while, I got to the point where like lo que pasó was I I I didn't realize it till later. Um I started doing what I was doing cuz I was missing something. I would go and like talk to girls, text mm -hmm. girls or whatever and then I'd get to the point where they'd be like, "Oh yeah, like let's hang out, let's do shit or whatever." And then I'd be like, "All right, cool, like I'm done." Cuz I got the attention. I got everything that I was It was looking like for. whatever you're missing from Yoatsi, they filled the void. Yeah, ex sense. exactly, okay. exactly. So then, yeah, so then I would get caught up and, you know, like I said, cheating's cheating, but I would get caught up, but it was it was both ends. You know, it was it was both parts. And eventually shit got out of hand and we just, we got so deep into the relationship where it's like cheating kind of just became normal. Oh damn. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's normal now. It just, it sucks, but that's, that's where it got to, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I never, I know, like I said, I never physically cheated, but I know there was times where like I got caught up doing something, texting some girl and then she would catch me, get pissed. And then she'd go out with her friends the next day. And then I would like be paranoid as fuck because like she knew I, I texted someone and then come to find out like I'm looking yeah. at her phone and I'm like what the fuck like but going back to what you said so who was it that the, the one that started it because it, it you know it leads to that toxic relationship where one's cheating and the other one's cheating but who's the one that that really got into I it would, being honest I would I'd probably say I probably started it okay you know not intentionally obviously but I probably did start it Okay. Because, like I said, I was missing something in okay. the relationship. Yeah, yeah. And, like, an idiot was, instead of... You started looking I started for something looking else. for something. Because I was communicating, this is what I need. Yeah. But it wasn't being reciprocated. So, what I did is I was just kind of like, well, you know. If, yeah, I'm, if I'm not getting any... Yeah, yeah. If I'm not I was like, I love you, but I'm going to go... It was stupid. I yeah. was young, but yeah, okay. I probably did start it. Yeah. So, um, another question that people were asking. Would you say that she's toxic? Because I remember you messaged me and said there's a lot that has to be exposed about. You know what I'm saying? So, what is it that, that you would say was toxic about Yoati. Uh damn. It's hard to answer this without bashing without bashing her. But it's just like kind of reality. Like yeah. at the time. Not now. I don't know who she is now. Yeah. But then there was there was manipulation. I feel like personally because I was in that relationship for a long time, I saw narcissism um a lot. Just because like people don't know. People just think like, oh I got with her when she got her YouTube and this and that. Like I met yeah, her yeah. brother when her brother had like 10k followers yeah. on instagram so he he was a, he was small she was not a instagrammer neither was i an influencer and it got to the point where i sacrificed myself and i said you know what you should do youtube you should do youtube uh you should quit your job i'll work doubles i'll do this and that and i'll put in the work i'll i'll, I'll do all the money so you can you yeah. can get do that and i sacrificed everything and i got nothing in return which is cool because people are like oh you're only famous because of her i'm like you got 30k she's got 800 do the math it's, yeah it's not the math isn't math in here buddy yeah but there was a lot of toxic stuff like that very like me 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 it was selfish oh, like okay. i said narcissism so then my next question is <clears throat> this one's going more into the the whole serious situation here if you can take me back to that day mm -hmm. the whole situation happened you know what i'm saying because i know I, I could look at the news reports they could say one thing but you that you were actually there the one that did everything you know what i'm saying if you if if you become comfortable, you yeah. know, talking about all this, what is the whole situation? Because on the news, I'm, I'm, I'm I wrote it here too. Yeah. According to news, you broke in, blah blah. You held her hostage, whatever the case was. What is your your whole story about that? 
so obviously my stuff is is all out there i really don't care yeah. um i'm an open book um so i'm trying to do it just in a nutshell uh so i was just really depressed i was extremely like at my end um you want to know that specific night or just the whole just whatever you want to share whatever you want to share bro you know what i'm saying i don't, I don't want to get like you know yeah, yeah. Say, take you out of comfort zone but whatever you no. feel comfortable sharing you know what i'm saying every time i do these interviews i don't i don't push nothing you know what i'm saying like, mm. I, I like to feel whatever you guys want to share you can share you know what i'm saying i'm yeah, not yeah. here to oh give me the cheese man you know no no yeah of course so that that night um so obviously we broke up um probably around november of that year before mm -hmm. and um, I was looking, she had gotten a surgery and I was in my room. I was in my room. I was next to her and I was looking on Instagram and, um, I was looking through the Explorer page and this girl popped up and I was like, who the hell? I was like, wait, she, she had me blocked. What the hell? She was asleep and it was my son was right between us. Yo, that she's muscle. And then she's muscle. I go look. I'm like, is that her? And I go and look and I'm like, what the hell? Did she unblock me? What? So then I go look and I click the story again. In my head, I'm just being a she's muscle. It's somebody that I shouldn't have been looking at, yeah. but I was looking like lurking at like some girl right well yeah well, it's because i'm on instagram and she popped up she had me blocked so i was like what the fuck like wow she's unblocked or is this like a fake account yeah. so i go look and it's it's her so i look at her story and at, on the story i guess this girl had just had a baby so it's just story after story just baby 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 and she wakes up and she's like what are you doing and i was like oh shit like it clicked like fuck i shouldn't damn and i was like nothing i'm looking at this girl's you know story and she's just like but why and I was just like, I don't know, it just popped up. And I just, I was, I told her exactly what I said. She's like, fuck that, give me your phone. Give me your phone, let me see it. And that was one of the things that we would go through all the time. Give me your phone right here, right now. And I was like, fuck. So it was like a toxic relationship where you guys would be like, give yeah, me your yeah. phone, I want to see your phone, boom, 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 yeah, back yeah, and yeah. forth. Okay. Well, my phone all the time. Yeah, here's, here's my phone, here's my yeah, phone. Yeah. And I just, at that point, I was like, bro, we've been together seven and a half years on and off. I was like, I just can't no more. I mean, my can't say it. So I was like, you know what? No. I was like, if we're trying, I was like, she had posted a video maybe like a month or two before where she was like, oh, we're, you know, better relationship, baby number two, blah, blah. And then this happens. I was like, how are we in a better relationship if you're already like, give me the phone and all the toxic shit's still going on? So I was like, no, someone's got to put a stop to it. I will. And she's like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm done, blah, blah. So we stayed over there while she was recovering. I think her brother had gotten a BBL. And then from there, it was like, we're going on and off between like her brother's house because her mom was there helping. And then we're here. And at the end, we drove home. I was calling my brother. She was, he was talking to her and she was like, no, I'm not having it. Like, I'm done, I'm done. So then, then we broke up. And then after that month, when I got back home, um, I, she was like, you gotta get out of the house. So she kind of kicked me out of the house. I went mm -hmm. back to my parents, got to my parents. When I got there, slowly it progressed. I got depressed. I started seeing her post videos of my homies at, at the house. And like, I wasn't invited, obviously like Thanksgiving, shit like that. but what i started to see is that on thanksgiving my uh she was posting like oh you know friendsgiving whatever yeah but no one posted on her side so then my friends started posting from their side and who's there alex so i'm like fuck so that was your breaking point you would say i would I, that's what started that's what kicked it off i was like cause okay. my, my head was like she broke up with me this last time because of this me looking at this girl and not giving her my phone i was like something's not adding up yeah clicked in my head homeboy was around the whole time that was what was going on in my head but i couldn't put it together yeah so then it progresses i get hit with like a restraining order for my son because i'm not picking him up and it's just it's piling i already feel depressed i used to want to sleep because it's like the only time i can feel good but now at that time i was like i don't even want to sleep i'm having nightmares so i got so low to the point where i was like i just just don't want to be alive anymore it's just the, the truth of it yeah and i didn't want to be here so then my crazy ass was like at that point i was like you know what like i'm done i gotta i don't want to be here i don't want to awake i don't i want to just be done so one night i show up to the house and i had so a key. i saw a report that said you you broke into you you broke into the house did you break into the house i had a fucking key oh okay <laughs> i had a key because yeah, this, this sorry, i gotta be serious no, no, yeah. no do what you gotta do this was a month before before the incident i had yeah. it cannot, got kicked out a month before okay so i still had a yave to the house so i didn't break in you gotta break you gotta break something yeah you know because i was when i was in jail i had the law library so i read every inch of everything yeah, yeah. so no i had a key i walked in with the key she um i believe it was upstairs in her room it was already like 11 30 some shit like that and, okay and I'm gonna be real. This is this is the crazy part that the shit you see in movies when you see the devil and and God. Yeah. Like now I look back at it now and I swear to God that's how I felt. Like 
I was walking, I walked in there and it's just like, someone's just like, yeah, 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 this is what you're going to do. And you're going to just, you're done. You're done. Fucking just pull it, you know? So I walked in there, I waited downstairs. She went upstairs. I went upstairs. And then at the end, she, I heard her talking on the phone or something. And I hear her talking, I think it's to Alex and she's fucking over here saying like, like, oh, like, you know, thank you for uh, calling me when I feel bad and this and that. And like, you knew I wanted some dick. So this and that. And I was like. Ooh, so that triggered you. That a triggered bit. me, and then what threw me over? Well, again, I was already like, my plan was I'm gonna go in there, and there's two, one, one, two ways out. I'm gonna kill myself, or the cops are gonna kill me. Okay. That was the reality. So, then I hear her say like, "No, fuck that. I'm gonna take 100 percent custody of Travis from him." And I was like, "That was it. Everything just went." Whew. So I started texting her whatever she was saying. So she was locked in her room at this time? Or? She was in her room. I wasn't in the room with her. I was in like... So you were inside the room? I was the in house. the house, but okay. I wasn't in the room. So I started texting her doing this to like, I don't know, I guess give myself away, you know? So then I think she went downstairs. I went downstairs, but I didn't follow her. So she went downstairs, disappeared. And then I go downstairs after like, where'd she go? And I was like, you know what? I need to get out of this house. That's when I feel like God was like, hey, you know, get out, leave. So I'm about to leave. And as I'm walking out towards the door... I'm like, fuck, you know, the cameras are there, man. I'm fucked regardless. I'm going to go to jail. I think she triggered the alarm. The alarm went off and I freaked out. I freaked out. Everything went red. And then I was like, fuck that. I'm going to do exactly what I said. So I went into the room where she was at. She was there with my son. The the gun was never in my hand. Okay. It was never in my hand. It was, I had one here. I had the gun here, the magazine over here. And I only had one bullet. One bullet's all I had. And it was for me and that was it walked in the house um and i mean when i saw them and i was like all right and she was just you know freaking out she was like all right like you know she was freaking out and i was like no one's gonna was you she know. freaking out because she was scared of what you were gonna do or okay. yeah yeah she was scared because obviously you can put two and two together in a situation yeah. like that and then from there i was like fuck like th this is what's happening this is what i'm doing and she's like don't hurt anybody i was like no one's gonna get hurt but me travis tried to actually come to me and she pulled him and i wasn't gonna you know i didn't touch anybody so i said let's yeah. go we're gonna go upstairs and then I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. So I started walking in front of them. And as I'm walking in front, she's walking behind me. By the time that we got to the door, she's at the door, I'm in the corner of the house by the stairs. And I I don't know what I had, but I dropped something and I wanna pick it up. When I wanna pick it up, she ran out the house. This was all in like a 10, 15 minute span. Oh, okay. 10, 15 minute span, this whole- and let, let me Let me throw yeah. this in here too, because a lot of people don't know this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you remember, I was the one texting you during this whole situation. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was telling him, you know what I'm saying? Like a brother looking for another brother. I was like, yeah. look, man, it's not like to me, look, any, any person that does YouTube, don't ever message me because I was stressed out for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like he was messaging me, but I was looking out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, as, I, I, remember like I don't know who you, like, I don't know you in, in real life now. Yeah, yeah. I, I know who you are now, yeah. but to me, it was like, it's not like, it really wasn't worth it. No. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't. And I was texting him like, hey, like, don't do not do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, me trying to convince him. He you, was you know straight trying to talk me off the ledge. Like, I was. Up. I was, dude. I was I was really, like, dude, it was late. It was late yeah. as fuck, too. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? Like, let me, maybe, like, in my, my mind, I was like, maybe it's God sending me, like, okay, maybe I can try try to convince you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But, I mean, if somebody already has their motive, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, if that, you already that, have the mindset, you know what I'm saying? Not to be disrespectful. No, but, no, yeah. So to me, it was like, I was really trying to look out for you, not even knowing you, but I was like, like, I think I spent like an hour trying to convince you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, just I get was, out of it. Just don't do this. You know what I'm saying? But dude, in that mindset that I was at, like no one, no one could touch me. Like yeah. it was insane. Yeah. But like I said, she, she walked, she ran out the house. Okay. And I didn't even chase after them because that wasn't the plan. So then I went back into the house and I stayed in the house for those 10 hours yeah by myself so how it says like oh I held her hostage for 10 no i didn't i didn't hold anybody for hot for i held myself hostage for 10 hours shit. Oh, okay you know but what about what about yowati's dad because there is a report that something like well he her, was her, her dad was outside i guess she had told him like hey like i, I don't know if it thinks he's in the house or something so yeah, yeah. when she ran out and i went outside she was actually uh he was actually like from you know he was he was there and he's like hey what are you doing what are you doing and i was like this doesn't concern you it was like 1 a.m or 12 a.m you know so i was like this doesn't concern you he's like whoa 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 he's tripping you know it's dark i get the situation so i understand where his mindset was at but yeah that was it then he was just like don't do anything and then he turned around and just took off with yuati oh, and okay. I, again i didn't even go after him because they're like a like from here to the next house i just literally turned back around and went in the house because like what am i gonna do chase them down the fucking street like that wasn't the plan anyways yeah you know my plan was to literally just tell her how i feel 
and fucking end my life yeah. because it, it's just like i was like dude i'm living with all this depression all this sadness all this anxiety the tipping point actually that i just realized was was she made a youtube video that day saying i got out of a toxic relationship those eight hundred thousand people her fans came after me on instagram commented on all my shit saying i'm a piece of shit i need to die i'm a terrible father all that was the tipping point as to why that night happened because i was already depressed i put two and two together about her and alex at the time yeah and then that video came out and i was just like well fuck if, if no one gives a shit well fuck why should i so would you say that she was already kind of seeing alex yeah so that was my, that was my theory okay so then i mean there I, I had her phone i took her phone when i was there and she left and i had her phone and i think that's what started hitting you up and i started going through it and i started going through it and then i'm like damn everything i said was right there was times where she would tell me like <clears throat> i'm gonna go hang out with my sister and we're going to the mall and she would go with her sister and then meet him up somewhere oh okay and then it was just multiple times where i didn't know and i'm at the gym yeah where's she at probably at the house with him you know and i'm like F i didn't know at that point though it was already said and done i was that night of because after she left and I was in the house, so well, I just started chugging everything and just trying to fucking blow my brains out. Yeah. And thank God I didn't do it. Um, I felt like at the end, after those 10 hours, you know, eventually that was the first time I can say that I met God. And he was like, you know, you're meant for more. And we just had a big conversation that just, I was like, you know what, like this isn't right. And then I turned myself in, you know, and then went to jail for four days, bailed out. And then a fucking year later, I'm... Um, on bail trying to figure that out so, yeah okay yeah. so um that rave picture that you sent me i don't know if you remember mm -hmm. you sent me a picture where you guys were together after the whole situation happened mm -hmm. what was that all about so did i send it to you you sent it to me privately you sent it to me <laughs> privately at the time oh uh, god i hate myself so you um, sent her like you sent me a picture of you guys kissing so, blah, blah. so what was that all about you because to me it, it made it seem like I don't know if this was an old picture, if it was a new picture, but it made it seem like you seen her after the fact of her calling you out. So I mean, is, after the whole situation, this is, actually. This is where, like, the whole truth part of it comes out. Okay. Her story is, he's toxic, this and that, blah, blah. Whatever she said and has yeah, yeah. said. And then you go back, and what people don't know is, as of March of 2021, so two months after I got out, three months, she yeah. came looking for me. I have all... All that proof yeah, 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 is yeah. all right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, it's not going to be something that's going to be thrown yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll just show you so you can just confirm. You know what I mean? Like it's, exactly. So from March all the way to December of like 2021, like it was just nonstop. Um, she came to me. We saw each other um, in Ontario. She she got us a hotel, and I went over there, freaked out because I was like, this is a trap. She's gonna fucking try to put me in jail. That's what I thought. Yeah. You know, like I said, and I freaked out, but eventually I was like, you know what, I gotta go with my gut. So I went, and I think, again, me still working on my mentality at the time wasn't that great. Yeah. Versus now, but then I was like, I was still getting shit from people like, you know, fuck that, leave her alone, this and that. And I got sick of it. I was like, yeah. you know what, well, you guys. You know what, like, she's hitting me up, I'm gonna yeah, go see like, her. Yeah, like, what the hell? Like, yeah, if, like, if I'm, then my biggest thing was like, if I can get if I can get an opportunity to see my son, I'm yeah. gonna fucking take it. Yeah. I'm gonna see my son, whatever I have to do. And at that time, like I said, everybody was, you know, leave her alone, this and that, she's happy, blah blah. A lot of the posts she was posting were about me on her stories, uh, the 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 fucking everything. When yeah. she would fucking bash on she me. She was bashing you. At she the was time. bashing me and then like two seconds later, like I'm like at her house, like Yeah. Come on, man. It's cut look. I don't like I said, I don't know how you clip this, but just so you No, you can just show me because a yeah. lot of the times when I do interviews, some people show me the evidence and then and people don't people know, you know, I, I the way I cover she's meant, you know I don't lie. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, that's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. straight up. So this this right here, this is when it started. So it was just a bunch of, I don't know if you want to like take it. So your that's time a spam or, that's a spam account yeah. she sent you through? Okay. This was March 26, twenty twenty one. Okay. See, it just says all this stuff right here. And then it continues. And I'm just freaking out. Like I don't wanna, you know, whatever. How'd you know that was her? Dude, I swear to God, I just knew. Oh, okay. Because when I was, I was looking. It's a spam account that he showed me, by yeah. the way. But, but I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Like, how did you know that spam was, was her? I was paying attention to my 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 viewers on my story. Okay. And this name kept popping up over and over, and I'm like, why do I have a feeling? What did they say? Oh, that was the first thing they said. You don't miss me, okay? Yeah, and I was like, the fuck, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what the? F so like I said, so then you go through it, 
and you can see like you know she's trying to get me to believe it's her and i'm over here like no i'm just trying to cover my ass whatever and i gave her choices you know like hey facetime me facetime okay. me do something or whatever to prove it and eventually uh you know i'm at work she doesn't want to do it and she sends me a picture a picture of this shirt this this shirt my brother gave me my older brother gave me this hand-me-down this ugly shirt and i know he's gonna watch this video <laughs> so <laughs> he gave me this ugly hand-me-down shirt that yeah. no one would have but her but her because i got it i was pissed i threw a fit and then i gave it to her and she's like well i'll use it as like a sleeping shirt so she sent me the picture of the shirt and i was like oh shit that's her it's her it has to be like who yeah. the fuck else would have this ugly ass shirt <laughs> so she sent it and then i put two and two together and then from there i called her because she's like call me uh it's right there see you know you know my number call me restricted and i was scared you know just prove you know whatever the shirt was enough i'm getting rid of this instagram i'll be waiting for a call and i was like fuck yeah. And you guys know I don't lie. You know what I'm saying when I read these screenshots in my interviews, any anybody that presents screenshots, you guys know I'm the one that keeps it 100. So this is everything that I'm seeing right here. I'm not gonna put it up here for you guys, but you guys know that I'm witnessing this like first person, and this is true. You know what it's, I'm saying? It's, it's through her spam. You know what I'm saying? The, the confirmation. So yeah. I think after that I called whatever we talked, and then we made a plan to go see her. And then from there, I think I just what I did is I liked like all the pictures so she sent me look she sent me this march 27th i okay. think it was the same day she sent me one of my son okay you know march 27th confirmation 28th 28th me facetiming my son on april 20th on april 7th okay you know april 7th 13th what is this i said oh look i had a i, I was texting her from her actual phone number that's my niece you see oh okay okay yeah and then watch we'll keep going pictures of us may 9th is that in Disneyland when you guys were at Disneyland? No, no, I'll get to oh, that okay, one. Okay. <laughs> this was May 11th in Ontario. Okay. When the K1 speed. This was a different spam number. So this is when she got caught. She got caught with... Uh, uh, Alex actually caught her. Oh, really? He caught her. I don't know how, but he did. I guess they're, they're doing the toxic thing. And she was like, I can't talk to you, blah, blah. Like, this is done. Like, I can't. This and that. And I was like, what the fuck? You see, she's freaking out. She's like, I have to go... You know all this stuff right here was that was that alex talking through no, her that was her that was her okay mm -hmm. damn and then she even says this you know and this is a thumbs up you see a thumbs up this is me confirming what i'm seeing is actually true you know what i'm saying just for you guys to know this is me at her house yeah and again you can you know me with my son on the 24th 28th may june and i have that picture on my instagram like my version of it yeah you know, June first, July second. Damn. This this was July seventh. Now I'm getting fucking I'm getting fucking spammed from yeah. her actual number. And then this is when I tell people like She says she wants to Zavank? <laughs> damn, she wants to make 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 is what I'm reading right now. God but, damn. And because I was I was ignoring her. I was yeah. like, I don't want I don't wanna deal with this, bro. I got to the point where I was like, I'm done. Like I know what she's doing, she just hits me up and I was like, Look, I'm getting a haircut, blah blah. I'm kinda like, all right, leave me alone. And she even said, I even miss you, Jess. Jess, Jess, as in Jesse, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. reading the messages. I'm telling you guys because I'm not going to put it up here, you know what I'm saying? But I can see it and I can confirm for you guys. So look, and then you move July 26, 2021 with me and my son at the Discovery Cube. Fuck, I didn't even know this shit goes that accurate. Oh, that's just shit saved. Damn. July 26, I'm with my son. August 8th at the Discovery Cube. August 18th. August 18th. No. And then that's the picture you sent me. August 20th. Why? Because we were getting ready at her house. Yeah, yeah. I, I recall that was her house at the time. Yeah, we we're, were getting ready. And so this is, we're, we're fast forwarding for you guys that are kind of confused because I know we were sending, or she was showing me a screenshots, but this, he's showing me now the Ray picture that I posted. The only thing that was public, in a sense, of him and, with Yowatsi at the rave like concert or whatever the case and, was. And, and this was the reason why, because I was like, I'm tired of people being like, oh, you, 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 leave her alone, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I just showed you receipts from March. Yeah. Every All single, the, way the, whole, yeah, yeah. the whole month of March, April, etc. Et and then yeah. again, look, then we're September 11th. This was August. We're at the zoo. Damn. See what I mean? Uh, September. Yeah. September 12th. Yeah. I have, again, I have a picture like this on my Instagram because she took the Do you picture. mind showing that that date on my camera just so they can see the the you don't have to zoom into yoati but just kind of a little bit so they can see the date somewhere right? so that day he saw her after the rave you know yeah. I'm september 23rd i'm still at her house 
Now we're at Disneyland. Dang, okay. that's the Disneyland that came out, right? That yeah. people were saying. Okay. Oh, let me, I have the video of what oh, people took out. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> in you know September I mean? in Disneyland. Yeah. So I have that video. Yeah. Another one, September 27th at Petco. That was probably the last time. In December 20, 2021. That was probably the last time. Obviously, there's more, but there's just a. So was it because. When is it that you actually went into jail? December 14th, a year late after that. So December oh, year 14th, later. Okay. 2022. Yeah, but so what happened is, and what people don't know, oh, this one's a, this one's rough. Um, what ended everything at the end was her pregnancy. Oh, the next baby. So look, let me tell, let me ask, yeah. let me ask, let me ask. <laughs> hey, I got the, all the cheese milk. Dale, dale, dale. So, you were hinting towards the end, you know what I'm saying? You you were hinting mm -hmm. that there could have been a chance that was your baby, right? Because mm -hmm. that came from you, you know what I'm saying? You were yeah. doing the little hints. I know what I was doing. So <laughs> so what would you say towards that? You do you still think believe that there's a possibility that could be your baby? Mm-hmm. Because the story is that when we found out, uh -huh. when we found out, <laughs> when we found out, the word was straight to my face, it's yours. That's what Yawati said. Yeah, I was there. We were there. Damn. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. There's no way. There's no way. I backtracked. I thought it's yours. And I was just like, respectfully, I need a test. I don't know. I know you're sleeping with homeboy. Yeah. I don't know who else you're sleeping with. I need a test. Exactly. She went, told her family. And then uh, I think she was going to Hawaii for something. And I was house sitting at her house. And she disappeared. And this is the theory that no one understands that me and my homie came up with where she disappeared. And at the time when she was like, it's yours, she was like all over me. Oh, we're going to make it work and blah, blah, and like everybody like this and that. Cool. Then it got to the point where she went to Hawaii and then disappeared on me and just started ignoring me left and right. I'm like, what the, like, what, what did I do? No answers, no answers. I'm like, did you hear back from them? Like, is it mine? Blah, blah, nothing. After three, four days of being over there with her sibling, she called, yeah. she texts me and, and calls me and says, it's not yours. I kind of, I just, I lost it. I was felt like shit, whatever. Do you even think she actually really did a test or you just kind of think well, she no, had just assumed? We went to do the test. Oh, my, okay. my, this is where the theory goes. The theory goes that she went, because she told her parents, her parents were like, we support whatever you're going to do. You know, even, like, even if it was with even you. Even if it's with you, we're, okay. we're your parents, we support you. I was like, wow. But her siblings are a different story. So then she went to Hawaii with her siblings. Our thought is she went, told her siblings. Her siblings were like, nah, that, fuck him, fuck this, fuck that. Told Alex while she was over there. And then they said, you know what? Let's just tell him it's not his. If we tell him it's not his, you know, Jesse's just going to leave you alone. Yeah. He's just going to back the fuck up. So calls me up, says it's not mine. And then at that point, I was like, all right, I, I felt like shit. And then it got. But you to can't really argue that, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they tell you that it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. So then it progressed a little later, and they got to the point where she was like, "Like, I want to be with you, but I'm gonna have this baby." And then I said, "I can't." I was like, "I can't because I, I'm not a fan of homeboy, and if I have to be with him for the rest of my life, I don't trust you guys." Yeah. So I can't. I'm sorry. And that's where she lost. It was like, "Well, this," and she just was like, "All right, cool. I'm done." All of a sudden, it was like, "I'm done. I'm gonna try with him." Cool. Bye. Because I was trying to be a better person. I was like, yeah. let's just be civil for Travis and work things out. That was not a thing. That was not a thing. I felt like, honestly, I always got Travis dangled in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, in my opinion, is fucked up. That's my son. You don't, yeah. you don't do that. You don't that, was, that. That, was, that was the main thing I said. Even when before I went to jail and the whole incident happened, I had said, let's not put Travis in the middle of this. Because that's, that's his son. He, All the kids who are messed up in the head, including myself, who because of divorce problems because mm -hmm. of parents because of shit like that like this is the reason why right now he might seem fine it doesn't mean we don't know that he's still a kid you know when he grows up he can have fucking issues you know that's what i was gonna ask yeah do you think that day of the incident supposedly do you think that kind of affected him in a way i feel honest? like i mean i i wouldn't a hundred percent no i feel like yes and no because it would happen so fast and I know that when I was FaceTiming him, seeing him after the incident, he never mentioned anything. But I do remember, like, I, I know how they would, like, like, oh, ask him about this. Like, oh. they'll tell my son, like, hey, ask him about, 
So that. what they say, like they kind of threw it in his face, like they kind of like brought it to his attention, like oh, oh okay. hey, like you know, because he never saw anything. He was he just saw what happened and then him taking off and then he was probably stuck in a house somewhere. Oh, okay. And that was it. I mean, I'm sure it affected him. There's no way it didn't. Yeah. You know, as a kid. As a kid, yeah. But everything else, I feel that happened prior or after is worse. The fact that when I was getting cheated on, the bed is here. We had one of those little like racing car beds for Travis next to the bed. So she's over here doing her thing with homeboy while I'm not home and he's asleep two feet away. And I'm like, how did that not affect that? How does that, how is that not a thought process? Like your main process is what you did. Well, bro, that's my son. You, and that's why I always tell uh, any girl I've ever met, like as soon as this was over, I was like, I have a son, but I'm letting you know, you're never going to meet him until I know like you're the one. Cause I'm not going to put him through a revolving door of women. Yeah. You know, like you really, like he's only met one of my homies since I moved out here and he's like one of my ride or die homies, yeah. you know? So and I know him for two years now and he met him one time, you know? So it's like, I'm really protective over him, even speaking about him, yeah. you know? So yeah. Okay. So my next question is, uh, cause a lot of people were asking me this and I feel like I know the answer, but would you ever see yourself getting back with her? No, I, I honestly, I can't, I don't think so. Just because simply the fact of, like I said, like you go back to the fame and everything. And like I said, we had a choice through that Disneyland and all that stuff where I had told her like months after. Huh? Yeah. I had said, fuck everybody. We're happy doing what we're doing. Let's just be together. If you don't want to post me all that stuff, I don't care. I'll do my thing. You do your thing and we'll keep it on the low. We'll keep it between us. And that's that. And then she's like, no, because my family's going to get pissed. My fans are going to be pissed. I was like, they don't have, your fans don't have to know. Your family's going to be pissed. But if they're for your family, they'll love you and they'll support you. And yeah. eventually get over it. I don't have to be a part of them, you know? And that's how it could be. But she straight up was like, no, like I got to choose my fans and I got to choose my family over my own happiness is the way that i took it yeah that's, that's crazy to me you know and i was just like it is what it is like you know and take my son away from me like that hell no <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so <clears throat> the next question is i mean you kind of answer this a little bit but down thoughts on the new relationship like do you get along with alex like you, you don't like him and you could be honest you know what i'm saying i'm sure you kind of have some sort of attention a protective order on him yeah. <laughs> 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 nah honestly i mean I feel like after everything I've been through, like, I just, I don't care about him. I mean, you know, all the rumors in there and yeah, all yeah. that stuff, I don't know. But, I mean, the one thing I will say that disappoints me of the guy is that when he was my friend, because he was my friend first. Damn. We used to play Fortnite till 3, 4, 5 in the morning. We'd wait for an update for, like, two hours, just talk Damn, there. Just I, didn't, there. I, I didn't know that. You, you guys are let's, friends. Let's, let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. Yeah, yeah. The whole Applebee's thing, we we all met at the same time. But yeah. me, and her, me, me and her were together. And then me and him started hanging out. We'd go to the gym here and there. We'd play Fortnite for sure. Um, I got him a job at my old place yeah. because I was making money, and I thought he would too. And he ended up just quitting. Uh, but yeah, we'd play Fortnite all the time. So what happened was I had told him um, I'm having issues with my relationship because I'd tell him everything. Can you help me out? You know, what do you think? He's like, oh, no, bro. If I talk to her, like, trust me, like, I, I, I got you. But homeboy was helping himself, not helping me. Damn. So in the end, so he was my homie. I don't even remember. What did you ask? Oh, how I feel. So. Yeah. At one point, I had told him what had happened, but I had left some things out yeah. when it came to uh, the issues that I told him. And he was like, oh, you're a liar. Like, you're only, you're, um, what do you say? You're only as good as your word. And if you're a man, you're as good as your word. And you didn't tell me the truth. So you know what? Like, I don't trust you for this and that, but I'm like, cut me out as a friend, period. So because, what you say is because Yowatsi started, you know, whispering in his ear. So what happens, me and her got an issue. I told him for help. I only gave him half the story of what I did or what actually what happened that time. And then he went and talked to her. Cause like, let me talk to her by myself. So I was like, all right. So I waited outside of the house. They talked and she told him like everything, everything and anything else I've ever done. So then from there, um, he came back and like he says, like you lied to me. You didn't tell me everything. And you're only as good as your word. So then from there, he um, cut me out. And then started helping himself out. Dude, we'd even talk when they would hang out after a while. I was like, bro, you got to just back up. Like, you were my homie. Oh, no, bro. Like, I'm only going to back up if she tells me to back up, dude. But like I said, I don't know, bro. Like, there was times where, like, when all these pictures and all this stuff and I was at the house. I was over here fucking doing my thing. And he was in the house just listening. And I'm yeah. like, 
bro, I would got to get the fuck out the house, yeah. dog. Like, I would have been like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm cutting this girl yeah. out. You know, I wouldn't be able to handle that. And, and that's something new that the audience is going to know, like, that you guys, that he was your friend first. Mm -hmm. And that to me is crazy because any, and this is coming from like a bro side, you know what I'm saying? Any homeboy that has a bro, bro code is bro code. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not. You're not gonna go run into the to the the homie's ex no matter what you know what i'm saying exactly. like if something happens you're 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 there to help out your homie even if he's in the wrong he's in the wrong but you're not gonna go and, and, and help go. yourself bro yeah, yeah like fuck that double that's dipping. crazy to me double dipping exactly <laughs> for a double dip it damn yeah, yeah. so look my next question here is are are you if a lot of people are asking this are you in therapy or what have you done to kind of better yourself because a lot of people want to know if there's an improvement in yourself because obviously this was a, a serious situation so people want to know, like, what have you done to kind of help yourself out or what is it that you've done? You know what I'm saying? So, well, what really helped, which is crazy, is being in being in jail that all that time I was in there. OK, those 11 months I was in there and because I had nothing but time to think about myself, think about all my past. Yeah. All and anything and everything I've ever been through, I've put people through just everything life in general so like it's crazy because i took advantage of being in that box and i was like man like i just gotta fix myself so i did so like i go back and i felt bad for anything i've done whether it was her other relationships friends family yeah like it just i really hold myself accountable for all the shit that i've done so i i mean i'm in therapy i've been in therapy and like so people, some people ask me like, oh, you're not afraid you're going to have one of those episodes again? I'm like, no. If anything would have thrown me over is when I found out that that wasn't my baby. Yeah. So, but it didn't. And I'm still here. And like, yeah, I just, I just think to myself every day, like, I don't have the energy anymore to get mad at someone. Like, let's say you post something and I, I yeah. don't, it pisses me off. I'm not going to be like this much. Yeah, it is what it is, man. What am I gonna do? Oh, you, just, actually, then not speaking about that, what was, what was your first initial thoughts when I started posting you guys? I always like recently to ask that or interview. just like no, just in general. Back in the day, <laughs> were you like this? Know, first, were you like this motherfucker? At first, I was like, okay, who is this guy? And I was yeah. like, what the? Fu I was like, you don't even know the story because again, yeah, yeah. I was worse. I was so dramatic, bro. Yeah. I was like, nah, fuck this guy, fuck yeah, yeah, this, yeah, fuck yeah, that, yeah. fuck that. Where you at? Oh, I was man. like, where you at? Let's go. Let's, let's throw like it out. Violence, just yeah. to start up. Okay. Well, it's just what I was. Is what I did, yeah, yeah. you know. But in the end, like I said, that was then. Now I'm like, I don't go. They were here and there when I watch your shit. I'm like, all right, this fool's funny. Yeah. I was like, because it's, I feel like the personalities mean you have are, are pretty close. Yeah. You know. And it's funny because my older brother fucking loves, for whatever reason, you call me Jessifer or whatever. Jessifer, yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. <laughs> like, he fucking loves that. He cracks yeah, yeah. up every time. He's like, oh, yeah, Poncho made another video. And he's over here like, oh, I still don't get over it. He says, Jessifer. I'm like, dude, calm down. It's not that funny. He's cracking <laughs> up. I'm like, whatever, bro. Okay, so the next question I got. Yeah. What would you say is your biggest regret? If uh, you had one thing to say that was like your biggest, biggest regret, what would you say it would be? I would say I regret putting my son even her just her whole family my, just everybody obviously mainly her my son and her dad through what i put them through obviously everybody else who you know got piece of it but i just i regret doing all of it and putting them through that but in reality like what i've learned is i mean as much as i regret it i can't dwell on the past it sucks i did what i did i hold myself accountable i did the time for the consequences for That's the true. shit that you know yeah what else am i gonna do dwell on it feel like shit for it i can't i'm, I'm sorry i'm apologetic yeah i'm very remorseful i can't do nothing about it but to be a better person for myself and then to be a better role model for my 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 son and and to move on and to be just better overall but other than that like i said I honestly, at the same time, though, it's like I, I wouldn't be the better person I am today if it wasn't for all that bullshit. I probably would have been the same piece of shit I was yeah. back then, hitting you up. Like, why are you posting me, homie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So uh, the next question here: What's the whole situation with your son? Like, what what do you see in the future update? Like, are you gonna see him? I don't know if you see him now, but mm -hmm. it, what what would you want with like your son? You know what I'm saying? Or what's I, the whole situation with your son? So right now. I mean, there's a protective order. I can't, I can't see him. I can't speak to him. Okay. You know, stuff like that, which sucks. It really, it, it, it's the biggest thing that hurts me. Anybody who, it's crazy because when I moved out here, no one knows me. So no one's seen me with my son. Everybody who knows me back home knows how I am. And I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I truly, from the bottom of my heart, miss the absolute shit of my son. And I, I got, I'm, uh, my plan is to, like I said, I just moved out here. So getting my job, getting my money up. Um, I finally, you know, I have a house, a nice place to stay at. And, 
so I can bring him there, but I gotta go to family court and see what they need. But I wanna show up like ready to go. Like I got money, I got a house, I'm stable, and here's all the proof. What do you need from me to get, you know, some type of custody for my son? Yeah. And you know what? Like I'll go out of my way to be like, you know what, you guys do let's do supervised visits. If you guys are that fearful of me, let's do super whatever you need, let's, let's do, it. do it. Let's do okay. it. Sign it off. Sign it off. You know? Yeah, I understand. So what's your your uh relationship with Louis Castro? Because when you initially got into jail, I see some tweets when he was like, I hope, and I'm going to say this quote unquote, he's like, I hope you rot in jail, blah, 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 blah. What would you say your 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 your, your relationship was him with before and then now? Before, I think my relationship, I mean, before it was, it was, it was cool. He was like a little brother to me. Okay. You know, he actually, his video where he said he came out, he came out to me and, and Yuati. He came out to both of us. I was the one who initially asked him because he was just telling us he had to tell us something and he was like crying about it. And I was like, look, how about I just say what I think it is? And then he's like, all right. So then I was like, you're gay. And then he started fucking just yeah. bawling. And I was like, I knew it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I can tell, bro. I can, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some guys can, you know, the, your gaydar is a thing. Yeah. But he was cool. We, we, we weren't, we, I, at, like, I don't know, at the beginning it was cool. He's like my little brother. And then after a while, he got really big and he, he was distant, you know, he wasn't as close because he was always just back and forth, back and forth. But I was really proud of him for everything that he did, everything that he's gone through, whether it was in school, getting bullied, all that shit. And then obviously later on, I started seeing, you know, respectfully turn into a diva. You know, he he bashed on Yoatsi in front of me and I, I remember I called him out and shit was, we were about to throw down a while back. And then it was just like, you know what? It's, it's, I don't want to fight this kid. You know, it's, it's not my place, but se le subió for sure. In my opinion, se le subió, you know? And then it got to the point where even now though, like it is what it is. He is who he is. And I'm still, I still look at him kind of like a little brother. Like, you know, I'm still proud. Like all bullshit aside, yeah. I'm still proud of the kid. He went from nothing to something. And so you said you, you knew him when he was 10,000 10, Yeah, 10, 10, 000, when whatever. he was a little swag kid with his yeah, little yeah, yeah. fucking MySpace pictures, all that. Like, Mania. yeah, yeah, it was it was before. Wait, what was it? Uh, what was TikTok before? I don't know. But point is, yeah, he was he was nothing. Like yeah. he was I mean, he was somebody, but I knew him when he was a little kid. And now, like I said, I'm, I'm proud, like two million followers plus and growing, you mm -hmm. know, it's like I said, to, to, he might hate me. That's cool. I don't, I don't have room for all that. Even with with Alex, like the only thing I also got to say about him is like, you know, appreciate the fact that he's there to take care of my son because he does need a father figure and stuff. Yeah. I don't know how his his dad style is. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Point is, he's there, so I appreciate that. And you know, it is what it is. And then with Louis, it's the same thing. Like, you know, we don't have a relationship, but he knows there's been times where like I texted him. You know, hey, I'm proud of you, bro. Like, you know, I'll push it aside. I'm proud of you. I'm not looking for him to reply. Yeah. Just him to look at it. He can look at me like the fuck, but I don't care. Like, yeah. I, you know, I'm doing what I feel is right in my heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, just to end it on some uh, soft note here, any final thoughts? You know, what I'm saying that's all the questions for today. But any any final thoughts that you might you want to give to the audience? Anything they want to you know know? Like, I'll probably say this. I'll probably say that to all the people to guys girls whatever like if you're going through something ask for help don't be afraid of help whether it's your family your friends whatever i wish i had someone that night obviously i was hitting you up but like yeah, yeah. i guess it was just a specific person a, a vibe that hit me up to say don't do it or whatever and i didn't as a guy as men we do not speak enough about our feelings which yeah. we're entitled to i'm in a domestic violence class now because i have yeah. to which is fine but we we were talking about how like the statistic is like 90 percent or 80 percent of of domestic violence is from men i'm like yeah. well, that, that's a high-ass number but yeah. why because guys don't don't report it guys that's are too true. afraid to speak guys or whatever you know, so, you know how many relationships i've been in where i've had a candle thrown at me i've been slapped you know or whatever but i don't say nothing because we were raised to not be pussies or yeah. whatever so if you're a part of verbal abuse mental abuse uh, physical abuse just say something say something to somebody or whatever because we're adults we're human and you have every right to you express know express yourself e exactly express yourself protect yourself because at the end of the day no one's gonna make you happy how you do no one's gonna love you how you do um in the end you know i'm in in a, in a way better spot i still get messages where i appreciate people who are like hey man keep your head up it's like i appreciate it but trust me i'm way past way that. way past that yeah, yeah, yeah. um 
I really appreciate this interview just because my whole plan is to do this interview and then to move on with this yeah. for, for good. I don't want to, I mean, respectfully, I don't want to yeah. be known as the psycho ex. I don't want yeah. to be known as the baby daddy. Like, mother, I have a name. Yeah. I want to be known as Jesse, or you can call me Drade, the artist. Yeah whatever if you ever need anything well that's not you know money wise or whatever hit me up you yeah. know if you need to conversate you're going through we're all going through shit you can just dm me and i'll get to it when i can it's not that i have a lot of dms but because i'm, I'm also busy yeah. you know what i mean so but i do like i say i hope everybody's doing well including her family yeah. my family my son everybody and then i just I wish everybody the best, man. Like I said, you need help. Yeah, and that was the point of the whole interview. I even told him beforehand, I was like, look, because a lot of people think when I do these interviews, it's going to be like, oh, I'm going to bash these motherfuckers. Because, you know, I, the way I do my cheese, man, it is more like a joke. But to me, it's always like I want to get you guys' you know, point across. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stay silent during these interviews. I want to let you guys give your truth. Yeah. And then that way you can express the way you feel. You know what I'm saying? And, and we ended at that. It's just everything's coming in at once. Yeah. I'm over here, like, glancing at your things. Like, huh, <laughs> is there anything else? Yeah. I don't know, man. This just, I can talk for days about anything that I've, I've gone through. Yeah. Like I said, um, in, 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 in jail, all that stuff too. Like it's funny. Cause I had posted a, a, a thing on my story, like, Oh, I'm going to do my YouTube questions and whatever. Someone just asked me too, like, I thought you were going to do an update. Yeah, yeah. And someone's like, did you drop the soap? <laughs> And there's a few questions that said that if you drop the soap, <laughs> I didn't want to ask that. Cause I thought it was like, I don't, come on now. I'm just like, it's this, where I was, I was not. I wouldn't consider it a jail. It was like Orange is the New Black. Oh, okay. You know, it was like open. It looked like fucking Costco. Like there was no cells. Like it was, it was chill. I had ping pong table, TV. Damn. I had a, a little workout room. I had microwaves. I had a vending machine. Damn, so like, you had like a little resort up in there. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was more like a rehab. What's called a, a rehabilitation yeah, center, yeah. which is technically what it was. You know. Uh huh. I had tablets. I was watching movies. You know, obviously, yeah, I had you're a, on TikTok live watching. Yeah, it live. Watched, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had my homie post that that um, when I put like ten. What did I put? I was like, oh, guess who's getting now? And you're, I think you were like, what? Did you guys see what this? I was like, yeah, because oh. I thought he was. I thought you were already out when you nah, posted. I was like, dang, yeah. he's out already. No, no, I, I was like, I'm gonna. I told my homie, I was like, I'm gonna stir up the pot. Watch. Oh, I was like, okay. And I was like, because I was like, I'm in here so long, I can plan out everything ahead, and I yeah. can, I, I'm gonna know exactly the reactions, which, yeah, exactly, what exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, just. You know, I, I'm in jail, so I was like, I just got to make sure. I was like, I get out. Yeah. I was like, I'm a clout chase just for a little bit, take advantage and just skyrocket when I get out. But I, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to filter like the 30K that I have left over. I want to filter that from being like her fans and whatever, take them all out and be like, all right, cool. You guys go that way. And then, you know, stick it to my music. Like the and, real people that you yeah. want to follow for your career. For me, yeah, for me. Well, because I mean, 30K... I've had this 30k for the last almost two years, which is to me it's amazing because I'm like, damn, I, it, this 30k has been consistent. These people who are here are here. They're here for me. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think you answered basically the basis of it. You know what I'm saying? You answered everything, and yeah, because I'm it, trying to trying to figure out anything else. And I mean, I guess watch. I'm gonna like drive away and be like, fuck. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's usually what happens. Now I'm over here. Like, but we we covered the most of the bases. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this interview with Jesse. You know what I'm saying? He's speaking his truths. You know what I'm saying? And make sure to smack a like, subscribe to the channel, and if he has anything else to say, you know, you got a YouTube too. You want to shout it out if you do have. Well, I else. mean, I have my YouTube. I haven't done it in a while. I mean, I guess just put it in the comments if yeah, I, I should you. continue yeah, I doing you. my YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, if not, you know, just follow me on Instagram and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, smack that like, subscribe, and I really hope you guys appreciate this video. Boom.